In these rolling hills, the water runs so clear, your mind almost can't comprehend it. Following the relentless pull of gravity, springs coalesce and make their way downstream. Wild trout slip through the current, expending little effort as they snatch unfortunate bugs caught in the drift. And I, as I often do, find myself with a rod in hand. This time, making casts to the most uniquely patterned trout I've ever laid my eyes on. First fish of the day here, a beautiful brown. Hopefully the first of many. This creek is just an absolute beauty, spring fed, cold, cold water. Lots of wild trout, browns predominantly, but there are rainbows and brook trout in here as well. Really impressed so far. And the day has just begun. There we go. We're using the Kita today, which feels incredible on these nice medium-sized trout, especially in this fast water. This one's a little nicer here. There we go. Oh, beautiful fish. Wow, so check out the patterns on this brown. Those spots uniformly along the lateral line, that is so unique. <laughs> Never seen anything quite like that. Two fish already just at this first hole. Pretty dang good start to the day, I'd say. I'm fishing a double nymph rig to start the day here. I've got a size 12 Rainbow Warrior on as my point fly. Now that primarily serves to get the flies down. So it's got a tungsten bead on there and it, it, it lets them sink pretty quick. Um, behind that, I've got a size 18 Zebra Midge, unweighted with a glass bead on the front classic staple fly. It always works. Um, that, that first fish unhooked himself in the net, so I'm uncertain about what fly that one took, but uh, the second fish ate that zebra midge. So we'll keep rocking this for a while. It's, it's definitely already working. Rainbow Warrior gets them down. They eat the zebra midge or the Rainbow Warrior. I don't really care <laughs> as long as they eat something. And so far they are. Slowly working my way up to the head of this pool here. Kind of a reverse eddy, nice slack water. There we go. Had a good feeling about that spot. Oh my gosh. Kita killing it. This rod has quickly become one of my absolute favorite rods. It's just, it makes every fish fun. There we go. 
another beautiful brown what a day and look at that fish still got those beautiful par marks down his side the white tips on the fins tons of nice dark spots what a beauty So that fish actually took the Rainbow Warrior. Let's, uh, let's see if anybody else wants to play in this hole. There we go. Definitive eat there. I bet it's on the rainbow. A lot of times when they hit the point fly, it's a really strong visible strike just because there's less tension. Uh, sorry, more tension actually, less slack. Whereas the zebra kind of floats around and does its own thing. So a lot of times those, those strikes are a little less detectable visually. Wow, look at this fish. Some wild looking fish in this creek. Wow, 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 beautiful. What an interesting fish. Got those blotches, you know? Dark, light, dark, light. Very interesting. <laughs> Another unique fish. They've all been looking so cool today. We're stepping up the stream here. One pool up, another absolutely epic looking, classic, picture perfect pool. This place has been stacked with fish. Oh, had a nice hit there. I'm sure you can hear all the dang cars driving by. This place is a, it's a roadside gem, but uh, the fishing's too good and the scenery's too beautiful for me to stick my nose up at it and not fish it just because it's roadside. You know, I, I love hiking into places. It's part of the charm of fly fishing to me, but um, I really wanted the chance to get into this water and see what kind of fish I could find. And man, the creek itself is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm willing to deal with a little bit of cars driving by and some Harleys and lots of Harleys, but um, it's been fun so far. It's been fun. There we go. There we go, yeah. Had to get that guy upstream quick. The Kita, it's fun to fish, but it doesn't have a ton of stopping power. I didn't want him getting in those logs. But we landed him successfully, and it's yet another beautiful brown. Ate the zebra midge this time. I don't usually fish midges, except in the wintertime, but these fish are enjoying it. It's been a nice change of pace. First cast. We knew it was gonna happen though. This hole looks ridiculous. Nice rock drop coming down, deep hole. S mix of slow and fast currents. Awesome. Ooh, he's bulldogging me. <laughs> Strong fighter. Not ready yet. Well, that's gotta be one of the prettiest browns I have ever caught. Look at those fiery, fiery fins. Incredible pattern, nice yellow, dark spots. What a beauty. Woohoo! 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> this little guy. Pretty though. See some fish swirling around in there. Had a little hit there. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, just saw that fish swim up. Nibble at my midge. Not a full commitment though. gosh I'm a broken record I know but this Kita it feels so perfect it gives the fish a fighting chance or at least the feeling of a fighting chance but um, it keeps them so so pinned that full flex keeps a consistent pressure a consistent tension on the hook and keeps them keeps them hooked up Great rod. What a beautiful day with some beautiful fish. The natural beauty of the surrounding landscape, the crystal clear water, the most interesting looking brown trout I've ever caught. These things all add up. And the sum is even better than the parts. I'll always remember my time spent on this creek. If you'd like to watch a video of another creek teeming with beauty, click the video above. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.